Hi, I'm Lori Dobson, and this is Island Update. Today is Tuesday, so, uh, April 21st, 2020, and I'm on Great Cranberry Island. So, uh, just walking by the farm on 95. I'm, <coughs> that's our, our road here. Uh, it goes all the way around to uh, the water, and it goes around the, uh, the heath, which is that way. So, uh, just looking at signs of spring. There's the vernal pool there. Looks like there's going to be a lot of, a lot of frog eggs in there, for sure. You can see it. And uh, I just, this is sort of a part B to yesterday, which I haven't posted yet, because it's, um, it's tricky to understand what to argue or argue, or advocate for, um, in terms of what's the best way forward to endorse and help encourage um, in terms of uh, the way that, that the, um, the CV, they're calling it, coronavirus, is being dealt with in, um, in these areas of, like, localities, you know, like ours. And uh, because, you know, it's ramp ramping up now with <laughs> people with uh, pot bellies and, and <clears throat> salt rifles, uh, trying to ram themselves up against governor's mansions and hospitals, and then you've got nurses blocking their way. You know, there's this classic divide that's being promoted and uh, propagandized. People with political interests, I mean, this whole entire thing has been politicized to the extent that nobody knows what's going on anymore. Yesterday, I'd heard a, a two-hour a two World Health Organization um, presentation Dr. Tedros, something or other, and uh, two other colleagues, and I was convinced at the end of that that they were on the beam and they are, are trying to do the best thing scientifically, and uh, they're supported by certain foundations, but they don't have a lot of money, they say, and and they're focused on working with uh, this virus in a way that that they you know to understand how to fight it effectively and <clears throat> one thing that doctor the doctor said was dr tedros uh i'm not sure he's a doctor but anyway uh had said that the big issue is that this virus exploits uh cracks and if there's a a, a crack between national solidarity and global unity uh or national unity and global solidarity. Anyway, anywhere there's a crack, anywhere that there can be a division between people or parties or places or ideologies, even neighbor, it can be neighbor to neighbor, it can be groups. I mean, he's been in Ethiopia and terrorism and all that there, and he said he's seen it. So he knows it, he's experienced it. And it was a very emotional, compelling argument about people needing to understand that the public enemy number one was the coronavirus right now and dealing with it effectively and working with it to help people and every life matters. You know, these aren't numbers. This is not a numbers game. This is about people and families and can't be looked at in any other way. Um, it's got to be a humane response. So I was all gung ho about that and put a, a video together. So I can't seem to find a good spot. High noon here. Um, but anyway, I'll stop for a second. Uh, the point is that, and by the way, there's bug cabbage, and it's going to be pretty in here. Already is starting to get real pretty. Um, anyway, so um, I was very convinced by the argument there, and then there's so many people out there saying uh, other things that, uh, you know, the money behind these efforts to get this virus up and running or at least not opposing it and using this uh, um, situation to promote their agendas has created a situation where we don't have, you know, the and, and very old COBOL, like 40 year old um, computer systems so people can't get checks. So the situation hasn't been dealt with, the supply chain, there, there's so much in the way of, of people really getting their needs met. I was just told um, by Ben that, uh, that there's no chicken eggs or chicken baby chicks to be found anywhere that you can't get them anymore. Everybody in America, they're so backed up that they're in high demand. So um, it's kind of interesting. So eggs are in the way of being a bit of a shortage. Uh, 
and chickens and trying to figure out, okay, how can we get this island up and going? I mean, we can always grow food. That's, that's a good thing. And I do plan to expand our garden, Bob too, that we're going to do, do more. Um, but I, I, it must be hard to not know where you are. I mean, if, if you're going to be off island or on island, uh, where are you going to put down your effort to be, you know, self-sufficient as much as you can be and learning to live with less and trying to get by through this, this issue that we are all experiencing. Um, there have been houses, water is turning on. So, I mean, I know that people are expecting to come uh, when it's safe to do so, when they're allowed to. Governors are starting to open up areas. So it's just a matter of time before people be coming up here, um, you know, maybe sooner, maybe later. Um, I just think I, I've tried to advocate for caution, as I said in my other video that I, I'm not sure I'm going to post because I don't want to be endorsing any one particular um, focus, whether it's the who or it's the, you know, the vaccine versus non-vaccine versus let's just get something working, you know, quick to, to, to try to medically deal with this. You know, there's so many different avenues and it's the, the real crisis is the lack of trust in, in um, the people that have this you know, in hand, in the middle of this, this, uh, you know, this campaign season and everything else. So I'm not knowing myself really what to, um, and I've really worked at trying to find out who has any kind of value, uh, to their arguments. But, um, in the middle of this, I, I just will say, I just think, you know, things that, that really make a difference long-term was like when Occupy people, um, leaderless as, as we were, uh, still were able to do a huge thing helping uh, Long Island with Hurricane Sandy. Um, that made a huge difference. And when people get together and help, you know, where the supply, the supply chain is, mi is missing needed um, support, like uh, people in the suburbs of Pennsylvania helping inner city Philadelphia, for example, which is in a crisis, or anywhere there's a a, a dire need that um, I just think we, we have to um, we have to think about taking care of people, kindness, compassion, uh, the human things. And in, in the in the lack of leadership qualities, we have to just model it ourselves. So, um, so I just want I just want to say um, to people that that know that I've been hard about trying trying to get our selectmen to act. It's been so that we can try to do some some serious support networking here, whether people are coming in or not, in droves or not. Um, the, the needs are still here for people to make it and um, they've been stretched and strained and there's a mental health crisis here in Maine, I will tell you, seeing it, um, seeing it in uh, some of the Zoom meetings that uh, uh, AA and um, other places. So I just think it's, it's truly important to um, be kind to each other and not let those cracks come between us. And I, I think there was, a, a, you know, there's a bit of a fissure of a crack uh, that's traditionally been there, I guess, between islands here in our town. And I just would say, of all the times not to create more division, it's now. Um, my intention has been to, to try to find ways to productively address the healthcare needs of, of this island. Uh, that's something I still feel compelled to do. Um, but working with people, you know, in dialogue, asking questions, hoping for responses, you know, working together for solutions. And uh, I've had some specific ones I've raised with the selectmen and other officials. And I do think uh, there's, a, there's room for that in, in our upcoming dialogues. You know, I would fall down on the side of the, the nurses versus those with the uh, MAGA hats. But um, on the other hand, I see, I see the reasons on both sides why people are getting so aggrieved and needing to, needing to find, you know, true solutions. So that's what I'm hoping to um, advocate for on this island, these islands, and um, just hope all of you are working towards good solutions in your own situations, um, wherever you are. All right, have a great day. Bye.